Volumes of research have concluded that practicing mindfulness on a regular basis offers many health benefits, including reducing stress, anxiety, depression, physical pain, and blood pressure while boosting the immune system. John Kabat-Zinn, a pioneer in mindfulness research, defines mindfulness as paying attention in a particular way, on purpose, in the present moment, and non-judgmentally. I've explained mindfulness in great detail in previous videos, which is not my purpose today, so I've provided a link at the end of this video to my mindfulness playlist if you'd like to learn more. Suffice it to say that practicing mindfulness is a way to tame the mind, which reduces the stress we bring on ourselves with our own thinking, and reducing stress ultimately leads to better health. Today I'm offering three suggestions for developing a daily mindfulness practice. Suggestion number one, practice formal meditations daily. This involves setting aside 10 to 30 minutes once or twice a day specifically to practice mindfulness meditation. The breathing meditation is the most popular, but there are others and all can be accessed for free by googling free mindfulness meditations. Here are instructions for a simple breathing meditation. Focus on your breathing at one spot either the air coming in and out of your nostrils or the rise and fall of your abdomen, riding the wave of each breath. Then when your mind distracts you with thoughts of any kind, which it will, simply take note. Was it worrying, planning, daydreaming, remembering, or something else? And then gently bring your attention back to your breathing. That's it. You do this over and over whenever your thinking steals your attention away from your breathing. For beginners, I highly recommend that you start your practice with the free guided mindfulness meditations available online until you get the hang of it. Suggestion number two, practice informal meditations daily. This involves turning something you already do every day into a meditation, such as taking a shower, eating a meal, going for a walk, washing dishes, exercising, or listening to music. Ideally, your informal meditation practice would be in addition to your formal practice, but for some busy people it becomes a main practice since it requires no additional time. For example, eating a meal as an informal meditation involves focusing your attention on savoring each bite, completely taking in its sensual experience, and then whenever your mind interrupts you with any thoughts, just bringing your focus back to the next bite. I love turning a meal into an informal meditation because it's such a rich practice reminding me of how much of life I miss by being stuck in my automatic thinking and rumination. Suggestion number three, life as a meditation. The ultimate goal of practicing formal and informal meditations is to bring greater mindfulness to our lives. Thus if meditation is the structured practice of mindfulness, then mindfulness is life as a meditation, meaning we strive to bring the same awareness we cultivate while meditating into our moment-to-moment -moment existence. For example, if I'm preparing to give a lecture and become aware that my mind has wandered into imagining the worst possible outcome, that I'll completely screw it up, I can simply acknowledge the anxious thoughts and then bring my attention back to the present moment, just as I do every time I meditate and then I can continue the preparation for my lecture. In this way I can avoid much of the stress I bring on myself with my own mindless thinking, thus giving me greater calmness and clarity for making the best decisions for me. If you'd like help in learning to live a more mindful life, then visit my website serenityonlinetherapy.com to learn more about the online services I provide. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button and then subscribe to my channel to hear more from me. And finally, keep paying attention to your life. Until next time.